What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about strumming. And I'm a firm believer that when you practice these things, your chords and your chords and your strumming should be practiced independently to begin with to learn how to feel those two things. Because if you think about it, chords are kind of logical. They're black and white, right? You're either doing D correctly or you're not. You're either playing G correctly or you're not. You know, your fingers are in the right places or whatever. But strumming is more of a creative element. At least it should be, okay? So what I try and do is I get people to understand the first thing to do is to practice a technique called scratching where you just touch all six strings, okay? So I'm not pressing on the strings, I'm just touching them. So when I strum, I just get that scratching sound, okay?